Welcome artists! In this video we're going to learn how to make an Aztec sun using radial symmetry. The materials you'll need are a white paper and some colored construction paper, something circular to trace, pencil and eraser, sharpie, whatever you want to color with, scissors, and a glue stick. The elements of art that we will focus on today's lesson are line, shape, and color as well as introducing the principle of design balance. Your key concept is radial symmetry. That's a type of balance in which the part of an object or picture are regularly arranged from a central point. It appears both in nature and human-made objects. So, for instance, objects that have radial symmetry can be divided into equal pieces, like a pie or a pizza. Each piece is congruent, meaning each one is exactly the same in size and shape. Here are some examples of radial symmetry found both in nature and in man-made objects. Now let's learn a little bit about the Aztec sun. The Aztecs lived in Mexico from around 1300 to 1500 AD. They worshiped the sun because it provided life to all people. The stone shows how the Aztecs believed the world went through four creations and destructions. They used glyphs or picture symbols to communicate meaning. It is a complex and fascinating calendar system with the face of the sun in the center of the radial design. The Aztec sun symbol has been the inspiration for many different kinds of art throughout the years. The Aztec sun is perhaps Mexico's most famous sculpture. It measures almost 12 feet across and weighs almost 25 tons. It's carved out of solidified lava and is now displayed at the Mexico's National Museum of Anthropology. Your icon is I can create an Aztec sun using radial symmetry and the elements of art line, shape, and color, and the principle of art pattern. Now we are going to begin our radial symmetry by tracing a very large circle in the center of our paper using any bowl you have around the house and a pencil. Hold down in the middle, holding nice and steady as you go all the way around that bowl, tracing a perfect circle. Next, grab your scissors and carefully cut your circle out. Once you have your circle cut out, we are going to begin to fold it in eight equal or congruent parts. So that means each size is exactly the same, each part. It's kind of like, think of it as a pizza or a pie where each slice is the same. So fold it in half nicely. You can see that little line that is created. Now you're going to match up those two lines that you just folded and fold it the opposite way. So now we have four equal parts. We still need four more. So we're going to, again, fold it in half, lining up each of those other folded lines that you have just created. Take your time. Sometimes this takes a little bit of uh, patience to get them equal. Now we've got to do it one more time as we have six pieces and we are looking for eight equal parts. So fold it, matching up all of those lines, give it a nice squeeze, and voila! Now we have created our eight equal congruent parts of our circle. Now that our paper is divided in eight parts, we need a two more circles. I'm going to start to trace a cup which is a perfect small circle for the center so any plastic cup you might have at home works perfectly. Now if you have another circle about the same size you can trace it or I'm going to show you how you can just freehand sketch a curved line that continues to touch in each section of those triangles. It's a really easy way to freehand a pretty good circle without having to trace anything.
We are now going to begin our Aztec sun's face. So I'm going to start by drawing a vertical line down and another vertical parallel line down and then connect them with a horizontal line across and that's going to be the Aztec sun's nose. Next, we're going to work on our eyes, creating an ellipse shape. So a curved line up and a curved line down, one on each side. And then we're going to draw a curved line, a semicircle inside of each of those ellipse shapes for our sun's eyes. Next, we're going to create our sun's mouth by creating a diamond-like shape. So a diagonal to the left, diagonal to the right, and then the same on the bottom, making them connect. Next, we're going to create a cheek by creating one large circle on the right-hand side and a smaller circle inside of that and doing the same thing on the left side. A large circle with a smaller circle in the center. Next, we're just going to add a few more little details off of our nose. So I'm going to draw a smaller little rectangle coming off that large rectangle that I first drew. And I'm going to draw a smaller little diamond inside of my mouth, as well as two little circles inside of my eyes. Once I finished my face, I'm going to move up to the sun's rays. So again, using the lines folded in my paper, I'm going to create diagonal lines, almost like triangles. So I'm gonna do one diagonal line on the left and one on the right, creating a little triangle. I'm just going to keep moving all the way around my circle, creating these triangle shapes for my sun's rays. If you would like yours to be a little bit more teardrop or rectangular, please feel free to be creative. I'm going to add a little extra detail by creating another small triangle inside of those larger triangles that I just drew. On the outer ring, you are going to create any unique design that you would like. So using previous knowledge of lines and shapes and patterns, create a unique design for your Aztec sun. If you'd like to copy me, just follow along. Now that I finished with that, I feel like it's missing just a little something. So I'm going to create a little arabesque-like shape inside of my second ring in between my triangle shapes that I created for my sun's rays. Now, you can feel free to add in um, a different decorative element or again, leave it. You're the artist, so you make those creative choices for your sun. Now, once you have finished creating your designs, I'm gonna go back in with a black Sharpie um, to trace all those lines so they're nice and bright because I'm going to color mine with marker. And sometimes if you trace your lines in black marker, it will bleed a little bit with a regular marker. So if you plan on using crayons or colored pencils, feel free to use just a black marker. And then go back in and erase all those pencil marks. Now it's time to add a little bit of color. Now if you've got some construction paper at home, follow along with me. Otherwise, feel free to skip this step. We're going to create a square frame for our sun. So I like to use a ruler 
um, just to get a straight line, but feel free to use a book or just fold it and then cut a piece off. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, so don't measure it, just eyeball it. Next, you can grab a different color construction paper. I'm gonna use yellow and fold that paper in half. Then I'm going to just cut strips all the way to that center mark, and you can do as many as you want. I'm gonna do five, one extra, because I wanna create eight rays coming out of my sun, but if you want to create more than that, please feel free to cut more. I always like to cut one extra just in case I make a mistake or mess up. Then once they're cut, you're going to lay them all out flat in your hand. As you can see on the back, this is construction paper I already used. I like to recycle uh, materials and not throw things away. So once it's flat, find that center mark where it was folded and just cut right along that line. And now I have 10 pieces. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of play with them for placement and see where I think they look the best before I decide to glue anything down. So just take your time, play with it. Again, if you want to cut more so you have a bunch of different rays coming out or maybe different colors or different sizes and thicknesses, that is all up to you as the artist. Take your time and glue each sun's rays onto the orange paper, taking into consideration the placement. Then once you're finished gluing all of those, go ahead and flip over your piece of paper and glue your sun on top of all of those. And lastly, I like to grab my scissors and maybe just trim up some of the rays coming out. That way they're a little bit more equal, but if you like some of them a little bit longer than others, then again, that is up to you. Well done, my most amazing artist, creating your very own Aztec sun. If you like this video, please consider subscribing.